This one has a busted block, but it's got good heads. Well, it's got two good heads. I think two of them are broke, but I've got heads off that other one. That block I got on the tractor. And that's supposed to be a good block. I guess we'll find out. of American cars, the Bel Air series, an entirely new kind of Chevrolet to be compared only with higher priced automobiles. Look at the long, low, sweeping lines of the imposing exterior. Look at the luxurious interior with rich fabrics and fine appointments. In every detail, you see quality far beyond anything in the low price field. In addition to the four door, the Bel Air series offers a striking two door sedan, a sports coupe of incomparable beauty and glamour, and a convertible of matchless smartness and dash. And the Bel Air series is only one of three great Chevrolet series for 53, bringing you 16 magnificent models, every one entirely new through and through. See your Chevrolet dealer and find out why, again in 53, more people buy Chevrolets than any other car. Okay, I see one thing here. The bracketry, part of the casting that holds that big honking oil filter is broke off, but it doesn't go through, doesn't go through the, the block casting. So a guy could mount an exterior filtering system. And uh, the story on this is, there was a guy in Canada it had uh, that other one out there that the block is all busted on it and he had this one was supposed to be a good block and his intention was to put two of them together and make one and then like me he ran across one that runs like I did and I ran across this one of course after I'd already bought these but um, at any rate I think it'd be fun to See if I could get another one to run. Wouldn't that be a blast, man? Um, I know, know nothing about it. Know how long it's been sitting. Uh, I know I got some stuff up there in the cabinet called knocker loose that you're supposed to soak the rings with, and and uh, I got a whole bunch of stuff that came with it. heads, extra heads, all kinds of heads, and carburetors and intakes and and distributors and just. Uh, oodles and gobs of stuff and I was so mad at myself I brought this home and this little cap wasn't on real good and I lost the cap um, don't know if the other distributor out there I got is, has one or not but anyway I'll come up with something I could build one you know I could I'm probably not gonna get going on this I wanted to get it in and start get it soaking and I've got to build a um, I've got to build a stand for it. But that'd be a fun project too. To build a stand for that, I probably wouldn't uh, put the reservoir on it. But uh, I gotta go get some metal. Um, all I've got is two by eight box steel out there. That's a little overkill. And um, did, of course, I overkill everything. I almost built my uh, frame out for the doge lock out of that two by eight steel. I go, ah, maybe two by six will do it. Most people use two by three, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get going on this. 
until after Christmas. I've got I got some stuff I gotta build for Christmas presents. My grandkids requested some things. So I got some metal sculptures to build. And uh, it's just a busy time of year, you know. Yeah, we'll uh, soak this thing and, uh, you know, check on it after a couple weeks and see what happens. You know, if you can uh, get one of these things to run, they're, uh, they're worth a pretty good little chunk of change. Um, <laughs> I happen to know just a little bit about that. Anyway, I thought I better explain this because I know somebody's gonna say something. Um, that water is from when I had the tractor in here with snow on it and it melted in the floor. It's not out of that engine. I figured somebody would think something was running out of it. But it's not, it's dry. I'm getting kind of excited about this project. Ain't you? All right, that's enough. Appreciate you.